just so folks will know where we are, there's the Hannaford store with the Champlain Centers across the road and we are here and it's changing. It wasn't that many years ago to those of us who've been along here a long time that this part of the Champlain Valley Physicians Hospital, now known as University of Vermont Health Network, CVPH. The buildings first went up and expanded, and now there's even more expanding, and it looks like the footprint of a new building coming in here, and it's of course disrupted the parking for this area. But we're here on this morning of March 26, 2018, for a groundbreaking. <laughs> I guess it's more of a ceremonial groundbreaking since the ground is obviously well broken already and more shovels are arriving and I don't think the, most of these folks with the carrying the shovels are going to take too many shovelfuls to handle their part of the event. So we're here to find out what it's all about. It's, a, it's another uh, marriage we'll call it between uh, University of Vermont Health Network, Champlain Valley P Physicians Hospital, which is a long name now, and now they're doing this endeavor along with Hudson Headwaters Health Network, which we in the northern tier know uh, as the uh, the uh, North Country Medical Center, and uh, now the Champlain Health Network, a uh, new building there on Route 11, and uh, a lot of things going on, a lot of uh, cooperation between uh, the Health Hudson Headwaters and with the CVPH. So we're going to find out more about that as the day progresses. Yeah, it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice, bright, sunny day. Temperatures are going up. We even got 50s on the horizon. <laughs> They promise. <laughs> it's always nice to see a familiar face at uh, these endeavors. Chris Blake, uh, what's your title here now? Cur I am currently. Uh, currently, I am a senior marketing and communication specialist here at CVPH, right. and we are at the site of the new, soon to be um, new, uh, federally qualified health center, and it's a cooperative endeavor between CVPH and Hudson Headwaters Health Network. Um, so today is the groundbreaking. Uh, we've got officials from both organizations. Some town folks are here as well. Uh, legislative representatives, I believe, will be here. So it's exciting time. Um, this is a long time coming. You know, our community struggles with access to primary care. We have for years. It's part of the reason the Family Medicine Center or the Family Medicine Residency was was put into place um, is to provide. To grow our own doctors um, and this facility uh, when it's done will have room for seven doctors. Hudson Headwaters is going to provide those physicians but you know someday you hope somebody who uh, completed their training here in Plattsburgh decides to set up shop here in, in this building so it's an exciting time. Yeah it's always nice when uh, somebody who uh, grew up in this area decides to, to come back and no this, will give, this will give them more opportunities. We actually the newest class of uh, family medicine residents uh, we announced last week the 16th um, yeah yeah uh, he's uh, one of them is from Ogdensburg oh sorry. so we're really we're really <laughs> excited to see him I mean they're all great great uh, additions to the program but it was neat to see somebody uh, a local guy that, that you know has decided to come back here and train so yeah, I, I know it's time. been a long time now but you know when doctor when Tim Guerin came back here right. you know it says right. I, I was really happy to see that and, and and look at the impact that man has had on this oh. on this community I mean you know he and his partners uh, countless lives one of my um, close relatives uh, is counted among them I mean we really are you know blessed to have folks like that decide to come back and invest in our community yeah you know the quality of health care has just grown so much in the last decade or so it's just it's just incredible that things that, that we can't couldn't have done 15 right. 20 years ago well, and I think from a from a regional standpoint, that has a lot to do with partnerships like Hudson Headwaters, you know, like our affiliation with uh, the Vermont Health Network. You know, I, I think that it it became clear to leaders years ago that competition wasn't really going to do it. You know, you really do have to uh, work as a, as a team to get the job done, and I think that's pretty pretty uh, true in rural areas. 
you know, where volumes aren't as high in one area, but together it makes a significant impact on quality. Um, and our cardiac program is exactly a great example of that. Um, and, and, you know, technology has changed. Science oh, has changed. So, oh, yeah. and I mean, you can't keep up with that. I, I you know, so, so, I mean, it really is an exciting time to be in healthcare because it's A, never boring, and B, um, you know, things get better all the time. And, you know, I mentioned this to your, one of your, your predecessors, uh, Mike Hillebrand, many years ago, that I'm amazed that you and he could keep up to date on all this stuff and, and be able to talk about it. Just, you know. Well, we're surrounded by lots of experts, so I, I profess not to be an expert in anything. I just know who to go to. Um, luckily, we have lots of experts here that I then call and go, okay, so tell me what to say. Um, yeah, uh, you know, I think to do this job, you have to be naturally inquisitive. Uh, you have to try to stay current. You have to a, know the right people and talk to the folks who are really doing the work. Um, and that's the physician, as well as the nurse's aide and the housekeeper who are doing who are doing those jobs because, you know, they have a they have a perspective on the care and and the industry that is unique too. So, okay, just just so people understand what this new building here is going to be it's kind of like a like we have up in the northern tier of the north country medical center which is now Hudson Hudson headwaters it's a place to go and see your doctor right absolutely um and i've not seen that facility but i've seen photos absolutely stunning i'm hoping that's what we get <laughs> um yeah so very cool with this will be that it's built we're standing in the middle of a parking lot at the cbph health plaza and when complete in a year um it'll be attached to um this strip mall for lack of a better word right. um, so that folks will get to see their primary care physician uh, in the new facility and then if doc says boy you need an x-ray boom, boom right there you are right. so um, you know it's the best of both worlds um, and yeah I, it, it's it's um, gonna make a big difference I think in people's lives in that it, this is centrally located um, it's gonna provide like I said room for seven physicians to come and practice um, so we're, we're really very excited. The only drawback I see is you're taking away parking and you're going to need more parking. Uh, welcome, <laughs> welcome, welcome to CV Pitch. Yeah, yeah. You know, parking is a concern and I think that um, when this is all said and done, they will find some spots for folks. Um, and I think, it, you know, they've put a parking lot behind the building now for staff. Maybe that's where that'll stay. I mean, our patients will always have ample parking, but <laughs> yeah. yeah. The staff, the staff yeah. like, yeah. like at CVPH itself, the staff has to walk. But they... <laughs> I find that to be my cardiac, my cardio exercise. That's what I say to myself as I'm trumping back and forth. Okay, anything else, Chris, that we should know before this? No, I'm glad to see you. Oh, um, and thank you for covering this. I mean, I think, you know, hopefully this is uh, yet another example of how working together we do really make a difference in people's lives. So. And I'm sure we will. All right. Thanks. Thanks. Thanks, thanks for some light. Okay. So thanks for coming out. Sorry we brought you in out of the nice sunshine for, for our, our, our kickoff on this. We've got a beautiful day. Um, you know, just want to welcome you to our groundbreaking for the, um, the family medicine program that Hudson Headwaters is developing here. It's a partnership with the University of Vermont Health Network and, and CBPH. Um, and we've got a couple speakers, Michael Cashman and, and Dr. Brumstead and Dr. Slingerland are going to say a few words. Um, I just want to start off with some, some different uh, things about what we're doing. First of all, primary care in our community, in our region, is dramatically underserved. And we've seen that through a number of different studies. Every time we do a study, it almost seems like the number gets higher. Uh, as many people as we bring into this community, there's a significant need. Um, we went to the state, and I, I just want to thank uh, Assemblyman Billy Jones and Senator Betty Little for the work they did in supporting uh, the grant that came to this. We got $3.6 $3 million of capital restructuring dollars from the state to, to help us build this, and then we matched it with, with that, that again. Um, the construction that you see that hasn't started yet officially um, <laughs> it will last about 12 months. So hopefully we'll be standing here this time next year seeing our first patients walk through the door in this, in this facility. Um, Hudson Headwaters and CVPH have had a long history of working together uh, as a network. We've got a diagnostic clinic in their office in Champlain. 
um, Elizabethtown, who's here, John Remillard's here from Elizabethtown, has one of their pediatricians working uh, in, his, in Elizabethtown, and then there's a real symbiotic relationship in Ticonderoga between Moses Ludington and Hudson Headwaters. So we, we really are integrated in all of our communities. Um, our family medicine residency was, was started um, two years ago. Um, and we, we ushered in our first four residents. And then this sum, past summer, we brought in four more. And then just a week or so ago, we went through match day and match six residents, uh, which is what our goal was to get that program up to that. And our hope is that three years from July, that those residents are practicing in our region. Uh, and, and our fingers are crossed. Our first four finish in the summer of 19, and we'd like to see all four of those residents practicing family medicine somewhere in the North Country. Uh, those six that, that come in this summer are going to be a little different because four of them will try and do their training, their family medicine training downtown, and two of them will be training in Champlain with us in Headwaters, and then all six will come together for their clinical work in, uh, at CBPH. They have some specialty clinics that they go to Vermont for and they go to Albany for, but the majority of their training is here. Um, and so we're really excited about that. Um, I'd like to turn it over to Michael Cashman, Town Supervisor for Plattsburgh, uh, and let him say a few words on this. Thank you. Appreciate it. I promise to be brief. I know I'm a politician, and those two things don't always sync up very well. Uh, but I've long said that the Plattsburgh region is a wonderful place to live, work, and play, but more importantly, invest. We have seen some remarkable investments over the last year, everything from Norse Titanium to the Advanced Manufacturing Institute over Clinton Community College, the downtown revitalization. But I would argue that this will be at that level of investment in our community, that it will be a signature uh, pillar in our community that we will look for that has changed the trajectory of healthcare. So I want to congratulate all the stakeholders and all of the folks that made this a reality. Um, one of my favorite things uh, that I get to do as supervisor is I often get to see some of the projects that are coming to our community before they hit the, the public eye. And I can tell you, when I saw some of the concept plans for this, I knew that this truly was going to change um, what we needed here in the North Country and also what the <coughs> services we're going to provide. So thank you and congratulations to all involved. All right. Thank you. So Dr. Brumstead's going to say a few words. I just really want to give credit to John for the work that he did on developing the global relationship between our system and um, Hudson Headwaters. It's a, it's a tremendous partnership um, and one that we're very proud of. And so just want to turn it over to John. Thank you. Thank you, Stevens, and good morning, uh, everybody. I want to get back out into the <laughs> too pretty pretty quickly here. This is a great project because it really epitomizes some of the core values of the University of Vermont Health Network. Um, as you've heard, this is a great collaborative effort between Hudson Headwaters, CBPH, uh, the University of Vermont Health Network, the state, the town. Um, and that's really what we're all about, is bringing together a whole host of different folks uh, to benefit uh, our communities. The second core value is, as we build an integrated delivery system for this region, you can't do that unless at its heart, at its core, you have a strong primary care base. Um, and third, uh, as you've heard, um, Hudson Headwaters uh, is uh, a partner in our academic uh, endeavors uh, in Plattsburgh and in the region through helping us uh, train our family medicine residents, the workforce uh, for the future of this region. So just a great project that uh, strikes the chord of what we're all about uh, as a network. So thank you very much uh, for coming this morning. So next, next up is uh, Dr. Tucker Schlegerlin, and, and Tucker took over from a very long-serving uh, hospital CEO, or excuse me, uh, CEO in uh, Dr. Ruggie, who really kind of helped 
uh, envisioned this and, and we've worked very closely together uh, for the past five or six years and, and really consider him to be a true partner in what we do um, and has been instrumental in developing the idea of our residents being in Champlain and is working closely with not only our hospital, our network, but our community uh, and the community physicians here in developing uh, this center. So, Tucker. Thank you very much. And uh, what I'd like to convey is, it, is a real heartfelt thank you to uh, both the University of Vermont Health Network, but also uh, the leadership team at CVPH in particular, uh, uh, Katie Jock, who coordinated so many of our calls over the last year. Uh, Deb Flock, uh, Chris Booth, uh, Scott uh, Germain or St. George, uh, Michelle Powers, uh, and the architects at uh, Moore Switzer, uh, Howard Shapiro, and certainly Stevens Monday, who's been um, uh, with us along this path the entire way, uh, with the, the the needs of the community uh, always first and foremost uh, importance. So we we really really appreciate the the opportunity to be able to collaborate with such a uh, talented group of uh, leaders, but also to do some of the critical problem solving that the North Country needs around uh, meeting primary care needs. We absolutely feel that uh, if we can meet the primary care need, uh, that's a key foundation piece that all sorts of good things will grow from. And uh, in my mind, this is, this is a, a really excellent example of uh, an integrated care network where we have uh, partners from, that have different skill sets contributing towards a, a greater good, and um, and this health center will be will be a, you know really a, an excellent example of that. The Champlain Health Center uh, certainly um, is thriving and growing, and and but will complement this one uh, really nicely. And and we also hope that there are people in Plattsburgh today that we can that we can help uh, who um, need access to care. Uh, and that this, this becomes um, a key part to the, the, the spectrum of services provided here, along with the, with the many other uh, valuable services uh, also existing on this site. Uh, so again, we, we, we absolutely feel uh, honored to have the opportunity to, to um, launch this health center and to plan other future projects, including uh, potentially Ticonderoga and other, other sites. So I think lots more will, will come of this. And, um, and, and lastly, the, the planning process, as always, between organizations is, is uh, 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 can have its, its ups and downs, but we navigated those, and I think seeing things come together here today is, is a real testament to that. So I think we all have a lot of uh, good things to look forward to in the future. So thank you. Thanks a lot. One final shout out is to the staff that already works in this building uh, because they they will see their world turned upside down a little bit in this process. Um, but that's the price that we pay. One of the things that Tucker was alluding to in the planning process is if the building, we have some land on the other side of this building. If we put this building over there, we would have had to duplicate x-ray. We would have had to duplicate lab work. We would have had to duplicate ultrasound and all those type of things so that they could operate on a seven day a week basis if needed. And by locating it here, we can use the existing services um, and not duplicate that. And, and it's really, it, it really, I think, will, will yield a better solution for our community. It's a more economical solution and better for our patients. Um, we are open for business through this whole process. And I think that for our community, is really important. Our, our diagnostic center is open, our wound care center is open, our blood donor center. We're the largest blood donation in northern New York and serve the, the, the only organization that serves the entire North Country. Our AMSURG center, our, our GI center, they're, they're all here and the staff are navigating their way through that and our communications team is doing a tremendous job with that. So thank you to all those people and the great work that they're doing. Um, so with that, we're going to walk out here, and we're going to turn over the proverbial shovel of dirt. <laughs> Hopefully it's dirt. <laughs> Thank you.
safety first. All the all the workers have to put on their hard hats. There, uh, some cases the official, like Dr. Slingland has the official HHHN hard hat. Oh, one more. Yeah. <laughs> They got the leaning on the shovel part down. That's that's good. <laughs> it's an important part, as, as we've seen driving up and down the, the highways. That leaning on the on the shovel is an important part. Okay, No, they're not ready for the synchronized shoveling uh, event at the Olympics, but uh, <laughs> there you have it. <laughs> so as we've said, this is a, a place that many folks are, are already familiar with. It has certainly become a part of uh, people's uh, health care in the last couple of decades or decade and a half since it came up. I'm guessing in the last uh, 10 to 15 years. Uh, this uh, initial uh, mall is a uh, Chris Blake referred to it to uh, give, it, uh, give it a name. And of course, as we saw briefly in the uh, drawings in there, this will be tied right into the, uh, to the existing building. So we're gonna try to find uh, another person or two to talk to before we depart. You just mentioned John Rodney. There we go. All right, we've managed to corral with a little bit of help with Dr. Tucker Slingerland. Uh, we talked to you in Champlain, doesn't seem that long ago. But uh, things are exciting. A lot of things happening with the Hudson Headwaters. Yeah, things are moving along. And this, this health center, in partnership with uh, CVPH and the University of Vermont Health Network, will actually be our 18th uh, health center. So we're really, really excited to see this uh, take form and spend a lot of time over the last uh, probably three years planning this project. Uh, so to see it uh, actually come together is, is, I think, a real milestone for us. Now, this is the Hudson Headwaters project. How closely, since Champlain is the closest one to this, how closely will the Champlain Health Network uh, be tied in with this? Yeah, I think these these will, in many ways, operate as sister health centers, and and will have a lot of uh, overlap. Uh, we think that there's likely some patients uh, getting care in Champlain who may um, live in Plattsburgh and and will relocate with here when this building's built. Uh, so we we definitely feel that both health centers will work closely together. And, and at the Champlain Health Center, we have um, lab and imaging provided uh, through CVPH. And so that's a good example of um, you know, the, the ongoing overlap and, um, and um, good things that are coming from the, our partnership with uh, CVPH. In fact, this morning I was there for a little blood work. So I, yeah, good. <laughs> I got good. to test it. <laughs> good, good. Now, how, how is this marriage here working? Uh, is it your building? Is it a shared building? Or? Yeah, this is this is a bu building entirely um, built um, by um, CVPH. Okay. And we, we work very closely with the through the planning process and the uh, architects uh, on the design. Uh, but but uh, this is definitely a, a CVPH building, and, and Hudson Headwater's role is to uh, provide the care inside the building. Uh, so that's what we'll be doing here. Okay, so you'll provide the, the, all the medical people? Yeah. And they provide the, yeah. the facilities? Yep, yep. Okay. so I think it's a good uh, good uh, pairing of resource. And you're talking about uh, hopefully something similar going on in Ticonderoga, where I think you already got a, yeah, a health we, network down we there. We recently applied for grant funding to help support a, um, a new facility in Ticonderoga, and, and so we have to see how that, that plays out. But again, it would be the same planning exercise and, and many of the same people that we've uh, worked with closely here in Plattsburgh. How does something like this start? How do you, are you constantly meeting with each other? How does something like this? Yeah, more, and, yeah, more and more we're um, thinking about what we can do to design integrated delivery systems. So, figuring out what the needs are for populations using data, and and then figure it, and then starting to come up with solutions. So, it, you know, no one entity really can provide all the the spectrum of services. So. 
uh, in our area. So we, you know, it really comes down to partnering and finding the right partners and, and, and planning and building relationships, which takes time. Um, but uh, but we're um, well on our way with, with this project. Do you know roughly how many health centers you have right now? I know. Yeah, right point. now Hudson Have Ours has 17. 17. So this will be our 18th uh, health center. Uh, but this one's different. Yeah, you know, this one's. This is really a shared project with right. CBPH. So it's 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 in a, in a in a group of its own. Yeah, and it's right next to this. We'll call it a mall here, but yeah, with all kinds of services available. So yeah, you can walk out of here and yeah, get instant, uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. So, and, uh, and adding that uh, that new uh, place where you can get the blood work done, and I know what what do you call the technical phlebotomy? Term? Yeah, the yeah. phlebotomy. Having that uh, and Champlain is really uh, is really helpful, and the, having the imaging there, and then in this facility, you know, those services are already in place. So along with others, um, yeah. Yeah. So we, we we really put a lot of thought into uh, the physical positioning of the building. So this is a. Taking a lot of your time with all these yeah. things going on. You, yeah. You've got a full time practice besides. That's right. And uh, but we, yeah, with all these things, we work a little bit. Uh, we work at all these projects a little bit at a time, all the time, and they they eventually add up to, to real products. So it's worked. Well, keep it up. All right. All right thank, <laughs> thank you. you. Yeah. Thanks. Thanks. All right. Next we have. Uh, Doctor Celine Racine Paquet, but you're, you're not a medical doctor. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> but you are part of the Hudson Headwaters Health Network. I'm on the board of Hudson Headwaters, representing the Champlain Health Center. Yes. How uh, how busy does that keep you? Must that, you know, none, none of your your meetings are in downtown Champlain. No, no, all our meetings are in <laughs> Queensbury once a month, and they're in the evening. <laughs> and so I, yeah, I don't get home till 11, 11.30 at night. <laughs> yes, you're right. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, it has a sign on there that says most scenic highway, but at night that's the most boring highway between uh, Glens no, Falls and, and here. It's no just, place to stop for coffee, <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> Yeah. And just, you know, just, mm -hmm. I used to drive it many times uh, coming back from Albany, and it just. Uh, mm -hmm. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I drove it many years. Make sure I didn't fall asleep. That's right. So I, I pity you going down there yeah. for those evening yeah. meetings. Yeah. But the meetings are worthwhile, though. I, I don't miss many. So will there be a new board member to represent this here? Uh, we're hoping to have someone here from Plattsburgh, yes. Mm -hmm. So this is the type of thing you, dis you discuss at these meetings, I assume? Is yes, we do. We, we talk about the right kind of person to fill this, fill that opening. Yeah, but I'm talking about this particular health network, the center oh, right here. Oh, yes, yes, yes. We discuss all our centers, or whatever the issues are, and I'm sure they'll be discussing this one. and. The staffing the and planning um, of it initially. And I, I'm also involved with interviewing physicians who will eventually staff it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. also. So it's more than just that one meeting. Then. Oh, it is. It is. In fact, uh, all our physicians in Champlain I was part of the interview process. And we've got a new podiatrist there. I've got and a we have a new podiatrist. Yes, yes. And I was just telling uh, Tucker this morning that I was at the. Uh, getting a, my blood work done at the, in Champlain, yes. something we haven't been able to do before. So these are new yeah, and exciting it, times. And yeah, we had a, a lab before in Champlain, but it was only for the patients that were in Champlain. Yeah. Now it's open to anybody. Yeah, well, I went in, I'm a patient there, so I, yeah. I got mine done there. So it's, uh, I think it's exciting, and uh, it's going to be a welcome addition. Uh, although I mentioned to Chris Blake, to, they're going to need more parking here, and they've taken away the parking. <laughs> yes, I, I'm not sure what they're going to do. I understand there'll be entrances in the back here, but I, I really don't know. Uh, I'm not. Some, I'm not the architect. Yeah, of this. said all the yeah. staff's going to park in the back. And oh, it's like at CVPH. There's plenty of room for the uh, for the visitors and the you know, mm -hmm. but the, all the all the help. You have to walk. Yeah, <laughs> have to. Yeah, that's right. Get so, their exercise before they're. It'll be the same work. thing here. They'll, mm -hmm. they, they, the patients will come first, and, mm -hmm. and the staff will have to do the walk. Yeah. Anything else, Lena? Well, think I'm just with very this? happy to see this. It adds an extra piece to primary care in our North Country. We are so fortunate to have this number of physicians, and I know Champlain. We're still looking at adding physicians. We're nearing 10 right now, but our, wow. our providers. But we're still looking to add. I've interviewed again last week, and so we're nice young people looking at us. So that's good. Mm -hmm. you, you know, and you look at that plaque from the 
about 1960 there, and the names like uh, John Zerlo and Franklin Forbes and, uh, and Lawrence Paquette. Yeah, and Lawrence Paquette. You know, if they could see what uh, what's happening now, they'd really be impressed, I think. I, I was very happy to see the old plaques put together in a frame. I, I really worked on that, too, at Hudson Headwaters. We have to preserve those, you know. And then a little uh, drawing of the old center, yeah. Uh, well, history. Yeah. yeah, and, you know, you look at how uh, CBPH has grown in the past mm -hmm. 20 years. Uh, one of the first shows I did with the... Uh, with Gordy was in 97 when they, Gordy Little, when they expanded the uh, emergency room. Mm -hmm. And after that, we just did you know, two or three shows a week with CVPH on, the, on what they were expanding, mm -hmm. two or three shows a, month, a year, I should say. But uh, it was just amazing how they have grown and now with the... I worked at the center. old, I worked at the old Physician's Hospital, 1958, 59, 60. <laughs> so that dates me. But. <laughs> That's and when it was. Your summer job, was it? Yes, I was finishing up at college, yeah. But I was a nurse, so I was working there, yeah. And you, like me, you may have been born at the, at the Champlain Valley Hospital. That's where I was born. I was born at home. At home? Oh, uh -oh. <laughs> <laughs> that really dates us. <laughs> oh, those French women, they. <laughs> That's right, they're tough. They're they don't tough. need to go to no hospital. <laughs> Okay, anything else, Selena, we should no, mention No, that's here? it. Thank All you right. for being here. All right, appreciate Thank you talking you with us. We're going to close this segment with a look at uh, how this new facility is going to look. This is looking northwest. From the parking area, this is looking also looking northwest from the parking area. A slightly different angle and looking west entirely west of course to the east is the Hannaford and across the road the Champlain centers that's what it looks like uh, looking west so when you're driving into Hannaford or looking across the road as you're driving up uh, Smithfield Boulevard this is what you'll see in the distance this is the uh, how the parking will line up and how the uh, building will tie in with the existing facility. And this is looking also an aerial type of view, looking northwest. And now looking southwest. Everything is uh, looking at it from the easterly direction and then looking north so that'll wrap up this uh, segment here this look at the groundbreaking ceremony and it's going to have the Hudson Headwaters uh, logo on it and uh, it's uh, a great collaboration between the CVPH, Champlain Valley Physicians Hospital, which is now part of the UVM uh, Health Network and Hudson Headwaters Health Network. And, uh, great news for the people in and around uh, the greater Plattsburgh area.